सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल टुडे दिस वीडियो विल बी अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो फॉर स्पेशली फॉर द सेबी रेगुलेटेड आरिस ओके सो सेबी रेगुलेटेड आरिस दैट मींस अ कस्टमर डेफिनेटली माय कस्टमर एनीबॉडी एल्स दिस वुड बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टिप फॉर कस्टमर्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हेनेवर यू आर गिविंग प्रोजेक्ट्स टू एनी कंसल्टेंट सो देयर शुड बी थ्री स्कोप वुड बी डिफाइंड इन अ प्रपोजल राइट so scope a scope b and scope c if you don't have any cyber security solutions already implemented that means uh we can say that antivirus firewall ips ids uh patch management solution vulnerability assessment solution so these all are the software which is based on you know firewall firewall itself you know hardware software combination and rest uh, you can opt saas based or on prem solution so scope 1 would be on a solution who are gonna implement this solution tomorrow if you have given the project to anybody right scope b for small size and mid size specially you need to have one external cyber security expert or external cyber security consultant who will help you out throughout the year of your journey of cscrf okay so he will be a member of your it steering committee or maybe outside your it steering committee but he will guide you throughout a year what you should do and what your uh, consultant or maybe your your service provider is giving you the cbc crf services what he will do he will uh, be responsible for governance okay so scope a solution scope b section cyber security uh, consultant scope c which is grc grc that means governance and compliance that means in ccrf you need to perform i believe uh, common 7 to 8 different activities okay which may be ccmp irp plan policy creation id committee meeting uh, third party risk assessment uh, risk assessment of your organization so and closure of your vapt okay so these all are comes under the grc so make sure whenever you finalize any of your third party CSCRF service provider, ask them these three scopes. Otherwise, right now, RE especially the small size, mid size, they are in a trap while they are giving SOC, VAPT, and cyber audit to their vendors, and they are they are right vendors. On the other hand, they are right because they are checker. Okay, there is a concept of maker and checker, so they will only do the checker part. They will implement a SOC. They will do the VAPT first scan. Give the report to close, and finally they will do the revalidation. Ultimately, end of the year they will gonna perform only cyber audit, where you are in this audit period according to CBC S. Correct? So they are correct on their space, but the problem they are not making you understand before taking the project. Okay, after taking the project, first of all they will do gap assessment. They do VAPT, and they will gonna tell you. please go in a market and if you have in house somebody to close the vapt report or to implement those solutions and control you can do it it's not our job okay so ultimately second time we will you know search hunt a market to find out the concern like us okay where we definitely you will get will come and will will do the stuff for you but initially at first stage you will check all this point because the commercial what you are you know thinking in your mind because you are creating the budget in so and so amount you are giving sebi ccrf services to somebody you know uh, exhaust that limit and ultimately you have to again set a budget right so make this thing clear so a b and c and ultimately finalize with your any of the sebi ccrf vendor okay it will helpful for you while you are evaluating uh, any vendor for sebi ccrf control implementation thank you thank you for watching our video and definitely it will help you out bye